Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is our Sue Check. We gave you guys at home the chance to ask this man here absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media accounts. Thomas, I have to say, you're probably the most universally loved footballer I've done one of these with so far. We had thousands of questions sent in. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And thank you. I appreciate it for me. It's going to be <laughs> fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Let's do it. OK, the first one. Are you the toughest player in the Premier League? Now, I think this comes back to the face cut as well. Yeah, but it's not a question for me. It's a question for another uh, my opponent and uh, <laughs> the, the people around me so uh, uh, you, you should tell <laughs> i think you're up there i mean that cut when it first happened i think we were all shocked but it looks amazing now yeah now it's very it's good either. because it's only uh, one week or 10 days after and even uh, i could play uh, three days after yeah. so yeah uh, only from, uh, three holes on my face but still yeah i am ready to play so it's it's good that it's nothing serious only a few cuts love it okay let's do the next one then uh, this is about your teammates and it says, who is the funniest player at West Ham? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard question because we have many, many funniest guys. But I think that uh, Andre Armolenko and Mikey Antonio, this, yeah. uh, these two are very funny and we can uh, laugh uh, with them every time. Michael Antonio especially, obviously we've seen his celebrations, we've seen his dances. When are we going to see the Thomas Suchek and Michael Antonio celebration together dancing? <laughs> I don't think so. This, that will happen <laughs> uh, because yeah, Mikey can uh, dance uh, whenever you uh, see him or even in the canteen or in the changing room on the pitch everywhere. But yeah, for me, I just uh, will clap my hands to him. <laughs> <laughs> Has he tried to get you involved in any of the training ground? Or? Uh, no. Sometimes when we uh, do something funny, uh, we just add to him, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we are dancing, but uh, no, not uh, with the celebration. Does he practice his celebrations on the training ground? Sometimes when he scores, he do something, but not uh, like in the game. Uh, in the game, not the big uh, ones. yeah, it's uh, <laughs> really big ones. Uh, even now, when scores against Tottenham, and many yeah. times before, yeah, it's it's really entertaining also for me. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. it. Has to be said. Okay, let's do the next one. This is away from football. What's your favorite? film? Yeah, hard question. Uh, something uh, I like uh, sports film very, okay. yeah, and maybe uh, yeah, I like Rocky and yes. ne Never Give Up. Yeah, yeah these kinds of uh, films and even I like, for uh, example, a movie uh, from the uh, real life. Yeah? yeah, yeah, because The Last Dance, for example. It's, yeah, uh, now, that's yeah, amazing, really isn't it? Like, that is yeah, just yeah. a really good documentary. Did you watch the whole last, The Last Dance then with Michael Jordan? And all yeah, that sort of stuff? I was uh, all because because now I have uh, lots of time because we have many games and yeah. when I am away on the hotel or uh, even in the uh, uh, coach and yeah. even uh, everywhere when I am away I, I watch uh, yeah, uh, this kind of uh, films or TV show. What about any Czech films? I was expecting maybe a Czech film for you in there. Can you recommend any Czech films to, to the yeah, fans? It's hard because you probably <laughs> will not understand. <laughs> but we have uh, really nice uh, Christmas uh, films. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Something similar like uh, Alone at Home. Yeah, home know? Alone, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, in Czech, uh, similar. <laughs> uh, yeah, about the devils and about the diesel. So I like uh, to watch. And in uh, two months, I will uh, watch uh, with my family. Yes, love it. I, I mean, Home Alone, what a film is. Well, so I want to find that Czech version. Uh, let's do the next one then. Who was your footballing idol growing up? Uh, when I uh, check my past uh, in uh, Czech Republic, mm. uh, I really uh, love Tomasz uh, Rosicki, uh, yeah, Pavel Nedved, yeah, yeah. Vladimir Schmitzer, this yeah. kind of the players. Yeah, in England, I, on my position, I uh, loved uh, Yaya Toure because oh, yeah, he was uh, very good and uh, his attitude uh, great. So yeah, I uh, lots of uh, learn from him. Yeah, exactly. Do you think you modelled your game a little bit on Yaya because you do make those runs into the box, but you're also play a little bit deeper? Yes, yes. Uh, in my past, I played more deeper than now. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I uh, learned from him. And uh, now uh, it's chance uh, to be uh, yeah, uh, more uh, helpful for my teammates uh, in uh, our opponent box. So I try to go there. But even uh, uh, I play uh, at the back. So uh, I try uh, to develop uh, everything uh, what is possible. Yeah, and if you can get as good as Yaya, I mean, he was some player, wasn't he? Uh, this one's really good. What is your favorite English food? 
<laughs> it's hard to say because I don't have uh, many, uh, okay. yeah, many English food what I like. Uh, because, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Because uh, the most popular English food for me is uh, beans, yeah. and I don't like the beans. You don't like <laughs> beans? No, Thomas, but, I'm going to walk out. <laughs> but you know, no, Eng English breakfast without beans, I really like yeah, it. <laughs> eggs and uh, bacon sometimes. But no uh, beans. No beans. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I have to used to uh, on English food. <laughs> yeah, it does take some getting used to, but baked beans, I promise you they're good when you get used to them, Thomas. You've got to keep trying them. Uh, let's move on then uh, to the next one. Uh, when you were growing up, did you support a Premier League club? Uh, yes, I support, and it's uh, what I said about my hero of Czech, of uh, Tomas Rosicki. Yeah. Uh, I support him in Arsenal, of and uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, I support I support them like a team because uh, when I was uh, in my childhood, uh, they uh, they were one of the best. So yeah, I yeah. support them. And Tomas Rosicki, what what an inspirational Czech footballer he was growing up, right? Yes, yes, he was uh, the best in even in the Arsenal club you know, and yeah. uh, international club, and his uh, ability. It was incredible because how he can uh, turn and switch the play and pass uh, then create chances. It, yeah, for me it was uh, entertaining. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this next one. <laughs> what sport would you have played if you weren't a footballer? <laughs> <laughs> I like many sports because when I grew up I played also handball. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And going football because it's big uh, in Europe, isn't yeah, it? Yes, it's, a, it's yeah. a very big because and my mother uh, used to play when she oh, was really? very young. So I played well, and my sister is still playing. So uh, I did uh, this, and what I like, uh, like uh, uh, when I am off the season, so I play uh, tennis. Uh, oh, do so, you? Are yeah. you good? Are you a good tennis player? <laughs> yeah, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've got a good serve, Thomas, because you're yeah, so tall. Yeah. You must have a good uh, serve. Yeah, and close to the net, I yeah. guess. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, I really like uh, when it's uh, possible, I like to go with friends and uh, yeah, uh, do some fun. And uh, because I am not the person who likes uh, some uh, something like golf because it's yeah, for yeah. me it's uh, not uh, too much entertaining because you just walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a walk. Yeah. But I, I like more this, uh, yeah, uh, more uh, the sports with the balls and yeah, uh, yeah. some uh, team uh, team also. So it's it's funny with with the friends. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you playing some <laughs> tennis in the future. I really want to see West Ham on tour. Thomas <laughs> playing tennis against the rest of the team. Uh, let's do another teammates question. Who is the strongest player at West Ham? Uh, probably for sure, Mikey. Yeah, because yeah, you think? he's uh, it's like uh, do you think when uh, uh, you see his uh, body, yeah, yeah. his legs and his strong uh, upper muscle. body, strong muscle. So uh, his strong is uh, yeah. incredible, and uh, when we see sometimes with opponent when we he punch him uh, with the body, <laughs> yeah. he, he just uh, they just uh, fall fall on the grass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, but we have another very really strong, uh, uh, big example defenders uh, like Angelo, Kurt, yeah. Yeah, many of them and, uh, and yourself Thomas, you've got to put yourself me, up but there, I don't like, yeah. uh, I don't like race myself so <laughs> just uh, another people can. Too humble Thomas, <laughs> Thomas I think you're right up there. Uh, let's do the next one. Who do you think should win the Ballon d'Or this year? For me, I have one, only one choice. It's uh, Robert Lewandowski because okay. uh, I was uh, very uh, disappointed that yeah. uh, last year uh, he uh, couldn't get it because uh, that year uh, he was the best. And uh, yeah, and this season also. So I think that for this uh, last two years, he should uh, get his first Ballon d'Or. Yeah, it was so unfair last year when they said they weren't going to award it to anybody when Lewandowski yeah, won everything it he was could really win. Really unfair because we still uh, uh, every uh, I think uh, top uh, five league uh, yeah. finished the leagues. So yeah. it was very unfair. Very unfair. And, yeah. So uh, I think maybe they should uh, get uh, two Ballon d'Ors for yeah, last a year. Double and, uh, yeah, double whammy. Yeah, give it to him twice. <laughs> I like but, it. Uh, for me, it's only one choice. Okay, this one is a, a very fun one. Has David Moyes learned any Czech? <laughs> what he really likes to say is like Czechy <laughs> of us. <laughs> it's like uh, Czech, uh, Czech players uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that we are like uh, three uh, Czechy guys. <laughs> but uh, no, he, uh, he didn't uh, didn't ask us of uh, any uh, Czech words. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, tell him. <laughs> yeah, love it. Okay, let's let's move on to the final few questions then. What is your dream holiday destination? Probably uh, I would. Uh, 
to go to the Africa to safari. Oh yeah, yeah because good that's yeah, a really good one. It can be really nice, but I hope that uh, one day I will be there and also uh, to do Vietnam, to do tourism and nice. uh, see uh, see this kind of lots things. Lots of culture as well. Yeah, yeah, lots of cultures because now what I uh, done it's uh, like uh, summer or winter uh, holiday, like in the summer or some uh, yeah, yeah, only yeah. hotels, beach and uh, this rest what I need to do after the season but maybe in the future I would visit uh, these uh, kinds of the cultures and safari and see uh, not only from the films but uh, on yeah. my uh, real life. Yeah, I love it. Okay, this one. Is Declan Rice the best midfielder in the Premier League? I think that for sure uh, he will be. Uh, and uh, now, uh, yeah, now he's uh, maybe one of the best uh, yeah. because uh, comparing is uh, very high well, yeah. uh, from the, each of the players. Uh, but uh, what I uh, see him uh, now and when I came, it's a big difference, yeah, for, uh, yeah. Do you think uh, he's improved a yeah, lot since he's you improved, yeah, 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 so it's uh, maybe, uh, I'm here uh, nearly two years and uh, the improvement is uh, very high. Now he's, he's a leader of international yeah. uh, English Cup, so in his team, uh, so yeah. it's a big achievement, and still uh, he can improve himself. So I think that uh, he will be. You two have got such a great partnership in that midfield. How did that kind of come about? Because it's really interesting to watch you two work together so well on the pitch. Yes, yes, it's uh, good because we know each other. We are uh, like uh, a little bit uh, similar, but also different. Yeah. yeah, and we know about each other. What uh, second uh, do it on the pitch, and when uh, I am back, he can go forward, mm. and also on the another way, I can go uh, to the box, and he stay and cover the pitch. So it's very good, and our relationship. Is is great and yeah we can help each other in improvement also and uh, also in the like England squad he can be uh, really successful uh, in the future so I wish him uh, yeah very best uh, just uh, when we play against uh, England and he will play against Czech yeah. I hope that he doesn't score <laughs> yeah hopefully he's not playing that day uh, let's do a final question then you teed it up lovely there can West Ham make the top four this season uh, of course uh, that uh, we can. Uh, I think that we could uh, last season. Yeah, only two uh, points yeah, off. Only two points off, yeah. Uh, and this season, yeah, we want to improve uh, ourselves from the last season because uh, everyone accepted uh, what's happened next year because last year was one of the best for West Ham and this year it's uh, even harder for us. Uh, but I hope that uh, when I am going to the first game, uh, for example, Premier League. Uh, so I have in my mind that yeah, I want to win the league. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but, why not? And, uh, why not? Yeah. And uh, when the the game is going and going, and I am thinking uh, game by game. Uh, so we will see at the end how we finish. But uh, we are now uh, yeah, we are now fourth, and we want to improve because uh, in, uh, even in the club we beat yeah, City and Manchester. Yeah. And we want to compare with these teams and when uh, we uh, will think very high, we can uh, stay and finish uh, very high. Yeah, Thomas, I love the confidence. Fantastic yeah. to meet you today. Thank you. Have a great afternoon.